Hello everyone and welcome to Local Lens. My name is Edward McCarver and first of all, I, I couldn't get a sitter tonight. We actually have <laughs> actors from the Wallingford Community Theater's production of Matilda, which uh, Matilda the Musical, which will be August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Sheehan High School in Wallingford. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $15 and $10 for children, 12 and under. So, kid, if you had to pay, it would have been 10 bucks for you. <laughs> Tickets are available at Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, Jeremiah Farms, The Hubcap, Gallagher Travel Shop, and online at brownpapertickets.com forward slash, I think they call it, event forward slash 4279993. And I'm bringing back uh, an old friend. She's been a frequent guest on this network. She's been on the network more than I have. Uh, Mary Ellen Eccles. Mary Ellen, welcome. Hi, welcome. Ed. Thanks for having us all. Um, this year's production is uh, Matilda. It um, is. For those that might not be familiar with Matilda, what is what is the play about? Well, it's based on the Raoul Dahl book, Matilda, which is basically a story about a young girl with very special powers um, who is rather maltreated by her family who simply doesn't understand her. And her adventures and her growth and finally finding a really great, wonderful place in her life. Who decides what, what play goes on in the spring? I know last year it was um, Mary Poppins. But uh, who decides? Is it strictly your decision or do you have a staff? Well, I think that at the end of the day it, it, it comes to me. But I always talk to my team. I have a fabulous creative team and we always talk about it. You know. Um, this was easy. Um, this one is, uh, Matt Bennett is absolute genius. He's an actor, he's a tech director. There probably isn't much he can't do. The beautiful graphics we see every year are from Matt's pen. Um, he's, he's really phenomenal. And this is his absolute favorite musical. He's seen it at least twice on the West End, at least three or four times in New York. Um, when he was over auditioning for the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, he made sure he made it to the West End, and he, he just adores Matilda. So he said, when this ever becomes available, we have to do it. And um, we were, we knew that it was coming, and I'm proud to say we are the very first to get the license. We're not the first to go up, but the first to get the license um, in the country for Matilda. So we've been working hard. It's been a lot of fun. Very good. Now, for the, the summer production at the Wanted Community Theater, um, you have a policy of everyone that auditions uh, makes makes the plays. That's right. In we don't cut for the summer. Now, now, why is that? Well, it's really an experience to be enjoyed by everybody. Our our mission in the Wallingford Center for the Arts is arts for all, and and there's we all have something to bring to the table, and um, we all have gifts, and um, so why should anybody not be accepted or brought in to share those gifts? We're talking with uh, Marilyn Eccles. We're talking about Matilda, the musical, uh, being run by the Wallingford Community Theater. Again, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Sheehan High School in Wallingford. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $15, $10 for children 12 and under. Tickets are available at Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, Jeremiah Farms, The Hubcap, Gallagher Travel Shop, and online at brownpapertickets.com. We literally have a cast of thousands here yes, for, uh, for the show. We have uh, several of the uh, several of the actors, and I'll just start at our far right. We have uh, Joseph Passaretti, who plays Mr. Wormwood. Um, his wife in real life also plays his wife in theater, uh, Mrs. Wormwood, Jennifer uh, Passaretti. Um, Matilda. <laughs> is Natalie Jambor, and uh, the young man to my left here is uh, Gordon Beck, who plays uh, Bruce. So let me quickly ask, and Joe, I'll, I'll, I'll start with you. Um, how did you get involved in uh, theater in particular, and, and Matilda in general? Uh, it, well, it's, it, it's a funny story. Um, <laughs> I, acted, I acted in plays up until um, I graduated from high school. Uh, I was in. I was. In, I had a lead in every play every year of my high school, and I graduated in 1986. And I moved on with my life. I went to college. I went to law school. I became a, a stuffy uh, workaholic litigator. And uh, 30 years later, uh, on one particular evening in the summer, my wife drove me to the Wallingford Park and Rec 
Um, and when we got there, she, I asked her, what are we doing? And she said, you're going, <laughs> you're going inside and auditioning for this play, Mary Poppins. And you had no idea? No idea. What was, your, what was your reaction when? Um, I said, sure. Why? I, mean, I do whatever she tells me to do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's funny because, the, you know, people are like, well, you know, what's the correlation between acting and, and being an attorney? And I say they are absolute parallels. I mean, I, I, I act, you know, I get in a, I stand up before a bunch of people and try to make, convince them of something that they didn't believe before. Um, and that's both lawyering and acting. So it really wasn't that much of a transition. And the part I played, um, George Banks, was a, 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 a loveless workaholic stiff. So it really wasn't a stretch for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Jennifer, uh, how did you get involved? Uh, well, you know, I know the company, the production company, because of Joe's experience last year. And I got to know Mary Ellen. And over the last year, she kept saying to me, so when are you going to audition for me? And I said, oh, no thanks. That's not really my thing. I don't do theater. And um, I was sort of missing being on stage with him. Joe and I actually, a little known fact, um, I'm a pianist and Joe's, well, everyone knows that Joe's a singer, but we would um, be on stage at church. Uh, we would uh, be part of the praise and worship band at church. He actually proposed to me on stage. Oh, really? He did. After, yep, he did. And really? while I was still sitting at the keyboard, he proposed to me. And so, um, you know, Mary Ellen was encouraging me and she says, I think you should be part of it. And yeah, I watched like how much, <laughs> I didn't want to. And I watched how much fun he had last year and he certainly encouraged me a lot. And he, um, you know, told me I should go for it. And I, like I said, I did miss being on stage with him and working as a team. And so we auditioned together as a couple, knowing that we both wanted to play Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood. And we thought, well, let's do it together. We'll see where the chips fall if we get cast together. That would be great. If not, then that's okay too. So we're very happy that. And we, you did, and it's been a good ride. So it's far, been a right? great ride. Yeah, she's we, a natural. They both are. Yeah. yeah thank yeah. you. So yeah, I um, sort of not exactly by accident, but um, the key to it was people encouraging me, and and I just decided to go for it. I I encourage a lot of people to take a risk, and it was very risky for me. Never acted before, never sung on stage before. I've certainly never danced before. But um, it's really important. Now you're doing all of the above. It's so. it's exactly, and it's only because people encouraged me to do that. So. And Natalie, who has the title role of, of Matilda, how did you get involved? Well, when I was five, I went to see the production of Beauty and the Beast, and I told my mom, I said, I really want to do this, and then she signed me up for the summer production of Peter Pan, and. Um, it was my first time, so I was kind of nervous. I didn't really know anyone, but then I had a lot of fun during the production, and it was a great experience. She was so cute. <laughs> I have a picture of her on my piano. Oh really? Oh my Aww. God, she was so cute. Very nice. I'll have to get. A, thing. I'll have to get a picture of me for your piano. Yes. <laughs> yes. I need a bigger piano. <laughs> yeah. I'll and Gordon, a picture of that Steve. <laughs> Gordon, young man, did your wife drive you to auditions? Is that how you got involved? Or? Tell us about how you made your debut in the theater. Well, um, I actually started off, I did this um, theater camp, and from that I found, somebody told me about an audition, so I, I tried out, and I got it, and I really enjoyed the experience, so I started doing it more and more. You've got quite some experience, too, don't you? Quite a bit. Yeah. Very good. Because you've, you've been on the Good Speed stage. Uh, yeah, for two shows. For Oliver two shows. and Rags. Good for you. Good for you. Very good. Very good. Once again, we're talking with members of the Wallingford Community Theater. We're talking about Matilda, the musical, appearing August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. That's a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at Sheehan High School in Wallingford. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m., Tickets are $15, $10 for children 12 and under. Tickets are available at Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, Jeremiah Farms, The Hubcap, Gallagher Travel Shops, and online at Brown Paper Tickets 
dot com. And at the door if they're available. And at the door at Desheen High School if uh, if they're available. How many Desheen hold? Six hundred and eighty. Okay, so you might be taking maybe a little bit of a chance if yeah. uh, if you wait. But, yeah. Uh, well, we've we've. We've had an outreach program this year with the Boys and Girls Club, the Albrecht Boys and Girls Club of Wallingford, and SCOW. So we've given, as a gift, books and tickets to the show to a lot of those kids and their families. So. Very good. Very good. I wanted to ask you, uh, Mary Ellen, there are some dance numbers involved in this uh, production. Can you talk There's a little a, bit about a lot the dancing? Of dance numbers. A lot of dance numbers. Um, yes. Um, there's... Um, Pretty much everything, and the, the nice thing is that we have dancers involved who, um, with very little experience, or they're just starting to learn, or they've never taken lessons, all the way up to um, people who have been, um, go to this, the Jocelyn Beth, a Ballet uh, Summer Camp um, in New York City. So we've got everything in between, and um, it's, it's fun. We've got a great team of choreographers. We've all been working really hard on them, and uh, yeah. It's a lot of song, a lot of music, um, with, peppered with some dialogue. It's pretty basically, I would say, the format for it. Yeah, it's, um, so it's a lot of... So, so you're dancing of, in the show, too, right? Oh, am I in the show again? Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I am. It's, uh, it's, and and uh, to quote what we were saying before, it has been a fun ride. Oh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, I wanted to ask the actors... Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Wormwood, Jennifer and, and Joe Passaretti, uh, the title character, uh, Matilda, Natalie Jambor, and Bruce Gordon Beck. Um, memorizing lines. Do you have a technique? Is there a secret? And Natalie, I want to hear your answer because oh. you have to, it's like war and peace is She's what you have to memorize. <laughs> but, but Joe, again, if we could start with you, what's, uh, how do you memorize lines? It's really repetition. Um, it's I, it, the hardest thing for for me is not the process, but finding the time. Um, you know, it's it's been you know the, you wake up, you do everything that you have to do, and you, and you you know you work you work all day, and then we have to run over to rehearsal, and then I find myself suddenly realizing, oh my gosh, I didn't learn anything more than I did yesterday. So you have to find the time. Where I found the time this year, not so much as in Mary Poppins, is um, I don't know if I should say this, but there's a lot of unlicensed um, Matilda scenes on YouTube <laughs> um, and and listening to them in the car uh, I've, I've been there's I've been able to learn it better there's actually Jennifer Jennifer saw me struggling with the with the papers um, and said you know I just listened to it over and over again so this for some reason I have a mental block with lines but not with songs I mean I every song that I've heard since 1968 is in my head and I'm pretty sure <laughs> I can get I mean and bring back name that tune, and I'm gonna win. <laughs> the, but but there's some disconnect between uh, spoken word and music. The music stays with me, and the spoken word does not. But listening to the audio of the spoken word has sort of gotten into my head the way the way that music does this time around. Mary Poppins is different. Right, because everyone has that favorite movie that people will say, "I can quote every single line from that movie," it's because you've seen the movie so many times. And so when he was having a tough time, I said, well, just watch what's on YouTube. And the more you listen to it, you can't help but have those words just imprinted in your brain. One other thing I would say just for, for, for the meticulous um, you know, type A person who feels like they have to memorize every word, I will say that, and I've learned this from Mary Ellen, that before you try and memorize your lines, learn your character because... What I've found, that I've never had this technique before, is it doesn't really matter what you say exactly, as long as it's something that Harry Wormwood would say. Yeah. Um, and, and, and when I get hung up, I'm not as much struggling for what was that word on that page that I read, but what would Harry say right now? Because that's all the time you have. And Jennifer, I know... You two, as husband oh, and wife in real life, do you do you quiz each other on oh, lines, yeah. or do you have a technique? We, that... we recently took a trip to visit our family, my family, in upstate New York. So it's about, what, six or seven hour drive. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when you've got kids in the back seat who clearly can read, you have a whole cast in the car that can help you read <laughs> from lines. And so everybody got a script. And then when you get when we got to our final destination and had lots of family members, 
we pretty much had the whole cast of Matilda on the on Lake Ontario. That's cool. on. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so um, a lot of a lot of help from other people running lines, and you know sometimes at rehearsal, um, if we're not actively working on a particular scene, like there was a night where we took Natalie, so I said, can we just we just go in the back and run some lines real quick. So it's a combination of things till you get it right. Yeah. Natalie, I'm dying to hear your answer <laughs> mm -hmm. on how you memorize lines because you have a dialogue heavy She's script. She's amazing. She's amazing. Is there a secret or, or how do you do it? Um, well, there's not really a secret. I just run it over a lot of times. I have my mom help me with every single line. <laughs> and um, I go over the parts that I'm struggling with. And I just listen to them over and over again until they're just printed in my head, and then I can just say them all out loud. <laughs> all right. Very good. Cool. It's like reading your head. It is. Yeah. It's like reading your thoughts, right? And young man to my left. I like. I like. You should sit here more often. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Mini me. I like this. <laughs> what is? Uh, what is your secret for uh, for memorizing lines? Um, what I usually do is I just gr uh, get the script and um, usually. Um, I just have my mom read the, the other people's lines, and I just work on my lines, and I just go over them so many times that they're in my head, and also that they also, um, what, we, what we'll also do is, like, my mom will read, um, she'll, she'll read the, um, like, in a song, she'll sing the other people's parts, and then I'll do that, and then I'll sing my part. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, since she sings the other songs and reads to you, should we have her audition next time? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Could be a new career. <laughs> See, that's, that's how I got worked that, That's this. happened before. <laughs> We're talking with members of the Wallingford Community Theater. We're talking about Matilda, the musical, scheduled for August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. That's a Thursday and Friday and Saturday at Sheehan High School in Wallingford. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $15, $10 for children, 12 and under. Tickets are available at Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, Jeremiah Farms, The Hubcap, Gallagher Travel Shop, and online at brownpapertickets.com. And tickets, if available, will be uh, at the door all three evenings. I wanted to ask you, Mary Ellen, tell us what opening night is like for Mary Ellen Eccles. Hmm. Is it a nightmare? Are you calm? Are you nervous? No, you I'm routine? excited. By then I'm excited. Um, you know, it, it really becomes very much a, a trust relationship between all of us and we're all working together to support each other. Um, they're very supportive of me. I try to be very supportive of them, and they're very supportive of each other. So when, by the time you've worked so hard, so closely for so long, so by the time you get to that point, it's not like um, if you remember back in high school where dress rehearsal was a fiasco that went to <laughs> two in the morning or something. It's not. I remember in in college, my directing teacher saying that should never happen, you know, and I. I took her seriously on that. So we, we all work hard, and as we get closer to the show, I tend to back off a little more so they can rest up. And then slight push on dress rehearsal, and the, the adrenaline takes over for that. How do you know when, when an actor is peaked? Is it like you can kind, a coach you can, with an athlete? Yeah, it's very much like that. You can tell. Um, when, they're, when they're working too hard, they're singing too hard, um, they're pushing too hard, or there's too much else going on in their their day and they're exhausted at rehearsal or something, you, you, that's when you have to talk to them and say, I'm, I'm worried that you're doing too much or you need to rest more, you need to stay out of the sun, drink water, you know, things like that. But as far as the performance peak, um, you can tell, you always want to be, it's, I, I don't know how to describe it really, but it's, it's a feeling you have as you watch and, and you, you, they're doing great but you know with just one little bit more, and that usually is the audience, the excitement of having the audience there. I think everybody in the show is, is at heart a natural performer. We have so many tremendous talents in the show, but it's, it's like that little tiny bit that the audience being there, that's when they peak, um, when they open. Um, and you kind of watch it. The, the only way I know to prevent that from happening is 
oh, you know, you don't over rehearse. You know, they some of these guys would rehearse all day, all night, every day, seven days a week, and I know that they'd be mush by the time we open. So you'll know, like when to, when to pull back. Yeah, you have to you have to watch that. Um, I I try I I think I've done it for enough years that I I know how to schedule it out, um, kind of thing. And then I'm always adjusting it, um, adding more, taking away some. You know, they don't like it when I say you don't have to come to rehearsal tonight. <laughs> they usually say, can we come anyway? Yeah. You know, and it was like you're always welcome, but you're not going up tonight. So. <laughs> Those of you that may have seen Mary Poppins last year may recognize uh, Joe Passaretti in his role as Mr. Bank, which by her own admission earlier was kind of a, a serious uh, workaholic kind of, uh, you know, uh, no, a no yuck sort of guy. Uh, this year you're playing someone who is uh, quite a bit different. Tell us about approaching this role as it's approaching Mr. Banks. Lots of yucks. Well, it's it's funny. It's really it's the accent. It really more than anything else. And I, I think to I probably thought two years ago that a British accent is is a British accent. But I found transitioning from Banks to Wormwood is kind of like it's kind of like saying somebody who's who's from Boston speaks the same way as somebody from Alabama. It just couldn't be any different. So when George Banks approaches the world, he talks with King's English, and you have to sort of get that in your head and get the words right. When you switch to Harry Wormwood, it, I mean, it's like anything happy, you know. Well, it, it, you know, <laughs> it's and, and it's like you gotta you gotta elevate the volume. You have to change. You know, I, I say every every word you speak has to have an OI sound in it because it's right. It's just always right. Um, and just I, I, con I mean, constantly through the early stages of uh, rehearsal, uh, Mary Ellen will call out from the wilderness. Uh, George Banks just snuck in, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'd have to, you know, I'd have to adjust the way I'm thinking about that word. Um, but def definitely the accent, you know, and the personality. The other thing too is George Banks was, uh, George Banks finds redemption at, at the end of the story, and, and, and Harry Wormwood's just, I mean, you know, Wor Wormwood is, is, a, is a name from the Bible that, for, the, for, the, for Satan. Yeah, um, yeah. And it's not, it's not too, he's, just an un, he's just an irredeemable character. I think he's lovable and he's funny, yeah. um, but, um, but he's just a bad, he's a bad dad. I, I don't know if he's a bad guy, but he's a bad dad. Yeah. And I think, I think that was really important to us as we started putting this together. It's like Raul Dahl has some very dark, um, his books are all dark, but they have the humor to balance it. And it was really critical that we find that balance. The Wormwoods have to be funny. They have to be um, obnoxious. They have to be, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but they have to be lovable, you know? And, and the same thing with Trunchbull. I don't know how lovable, but Trunchbull is traditionally played by a man, a male actor on stage. And Matt Bennett is, is tremendous playing, playing. Oh my God, he's so good. And, um, I haven't let him come to any of the meet and greets or anything because I want Wallingford to be surprised. But yeah. right, you still want to root for them, yes. even though yeah, they're contemptible. You never people, lose hope of but, their redemption. You know, yeah. But you want to you, you want to not like them, but still root for them at the same time. Yeah, and it's very difficult. To, yeah, it is to walk that line because you want to be mean, but not too mean. You want to be funny, but not too funny. I know. I feel like I always have to apologize. <laughs> To Natalie for the script yeah. because she'll walk forward and one of her lines that she sings is, "My daddy says I'm this, my mommy says I'm that," and they're horrible, horrible yeah. things to call a child. <laughs> and she finishes it, the song for the blackout, and then she looks at me and I'm like, "I'm so sorry." <laughs> <You know? laughs> um, if someone goes to the play yes. and, and decides they want to get involved with Walker Community Theater, yes, what's the best way for them to accomplish well, that? Well. That's a perfect segue for me to share with you um, a couple of things. One, I want to mention that um, I saw in an article in the paper that Masters Manor's shelves were empty or getting empty. So we're asking everyone who comes to the um, Matilda play to bring one non-perishable good um, and cast members and crew members and our wonderful, the mom of, of Matilda, Net. The real mom, the Lori Lori Jammer, who's who's with uh, Masters Mana, is going to help me coordinate that. So that's number one. You can get involved just by being of service, coming to the show, and we have lots coming up for next year. It's the Wallingford 
350 Jubilee, and I've been asked, um, I'm in the, the, the director's group, and they've asked me to be in charge of um, the artistic ventures um, in terms of plays and stuff. So in September, we have auditions for Our Town, which has a huge cast, and, and lots and lots of extras in the Act 3, which is a cemetery scene. If you can sit still, you don't have to be able to do anything else, but it would be funny. I, I, <laughs> and then um, we're also uh, signing up, no auditions necessary, we're doing a reenactment like Sturbridge Village for Jubilee Week at the historic sites. So you can come and sign up and um, to be a part of that where you might be at various historic places and it will teach you how to get, have a character and put you in costume. And, you know, as people go on the walking tour, you can kind of share who you are and your life in Wallingford at different periods of time. And next June, the end of June, we are producing for the Jubilee Week three nights of 1776. Wow. Yes. Nice. And I want to put together a huge chorus for that in addition to the cast. And I will figure out a way for kids and youth to be part of that. Excellent. That's my job. Excellent. We're talking with members of the Longford Community Theater. One last time, Matilda the Musical, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Sheehan High School in Wallingford. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $15, $10 for children 12 and under. Tickets are available at Amici Salon, Connie's Kitchen, Jeremiah Farms, The Hubcap, Gallagher Travel Shop, and online at brownpapertickets.com. Very quickly, with about three minutes, to the actors. And I'll start with you, Joe. Is there a role you'd like to play, and if given an opportunity to play any particular part on stage, screen, who would you pick? And the rest of you can be thinking about that answer. I, I don't know if my voice is up to it, but Jean Valjean is a, in Les oh. Miserables is a dream role for me. Yep, I am obsessed with Saturday Night Live. I've always wanted to be on Saturday Night Live. I'm now too old because they do have an age cut off, so that's not a possibility anymore. Um, but yep, that would have been my dream, my dream theatrical role. Maybe we can do our own version. Good. <laughs> Maybe Saturday night semi alive. Maybe it could be Sunday, <laughs> Sunday afternoon taped. I don't know. <laughs> And you? Natalie, uh, Matilda, <laughs> is there a role out there that you would kill for? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, a role that I would really love is to be Alphaba in um, Wicked because she's such a strong character with an amazing voice and I would just love to be that character on Broadway. And when you're on Broadway, I would love back to St. Pat's to come see you. Love that. And young man? Is there a dream role in Gordon Beck's future? <laughs> <laughs> or a role you'd like to have? I mean, a role I would really love to have is um, probably, uh, I don't remember his name, but the kid in um, Lame is... Um, Gavroche. Yes, Gavroche. Him. <laughs> That's what he was going to say. I'm, so, well, I'm going to drive you there. Let's both go. <laughs> <laughs> I know what Let's next do year's, it. I know what next year's play is going to be. <laughs> I think it we should, should do that one. It should be. I'll play the flag. <laughs> <laughs> you can wave me around. <laughs> well, listen, with just about a minute remaining, I want to thank all of you for, for coming out. Uh, please break a leg. I mean that in the, you in too, the, the nicest way. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it, uh, it, it, has been a, it has been a fun ride. Once again, Matilda, August 1st, 2nd, and 3rd at Sheehan High School in Wallingford. Curtain goes up at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $15, $10 for children, 12 and under. That's you, Gordon. Tickets at Amici Salon, <laughs> Ghani's Kitchen, Jeremiah Farms, The Hubcap, Gallagher Travel Shop, online at brownpapertickets.com. I want to thank you all, and uh, good luck, and it, uh, it'll be a fun August. Yes. <laughs> all right, that's it. This is Ed McCarver for Local Lens. Hi.